but there is space to provide a walkway if that's the, the final design solution. Of what width did you tell us? I this think. is a catastrophe for this area here. You talk about glibly all this stuff about boring machines and everything else, but you've forgotten about the people. Madam, take your hands off me, please. Oh, take your hands off me. Oh, take your hands off me. Oh, oh, take your hands off me. Oh, well, just your like, head outside. Just like lawyers. My name's Imogen Zella. I'm a resident of Cheltenham. Um, why is it that the only playground of Cheltenham um, has been demolished and there are no immediate plans for a new playground in Cheltenham? Uh, not rude either. If I, if I go, if I go to a meeting of the Epic Civic Trust, the people are usually very temperate, as they were last week. But the meeting last week, they were very courteous. They didn't interrupt. They asked questions, and for some reason, you're all fired up tonight. And an amazing number of engineers have seen us off the cap. Have you noticed that? How many engineers are here tonight? Well, just, just, like, like, just like lawyers, there's an opinion from every lawyer, I think there's an opinion from every engineer, and that's the problem. And I appreciate your expertise, and I appreciate all your, all your interaction, and you really just love me, I know that. You this guy lost the next election. Out, so I feel that love, and I'm being threatened again. Isn't that wonderful, the way they threaten me? That, isn't that why they threaten me? Well, I went from... It'll be hard next time. I went from 58% to 76%. Madam, take your hands off me, please. Take your hands off me. Oh, photograph. Quick, quick, photograph. Uh, many um, factors uh, right to the doorstep of government in this state. Now, as I mentioned at the AGM last week, you referred to that in this state we have optional preferential voting. Both major parties are now on the nose. And unfortunately, this means for um, government following the 2015 March elections, there is the possibility that independents and minor parties could well hold the balance of power and we could have hung parliament situations which can bring about a lot of instability. Now this has come about through failure of representation, failure of people like yourself to listen to the voters who put you into a position of trust to represent us. It's regrettable that you failed to represent us as evidenced by the angst that's here tonight. What, what, how would you like to reply to that? Malcolm, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I still consider you a friend. It did help. No, There's the only one time you've gone, gone so far. There are still five, I think. Five? No. Four, is it? Two. Two? Well, they, must be, they must be falling over as we speak. What about the other 30,000 oh, trees? What did you say, Malcolm? <laughs> uh, I tried to do my best. I got an increase in my vote from 58% to 76% two-party preferred before that last state election. Now, whilst it naturally will taper off, they're all over the place. The shooters and fishers, what do they want? They want to be able to shoot animals in feral, feral parks. The Christian Democrats want their agenda. I don't believe that independents will have the balance of power because we've seen with independents that they can't run a government and they can't influence government. We had, we had independents in the lower house before. Most of them have been thrown out. One of them is before ICAC himself or under investigation. So whatever you say, I, I, it's a tragedy for me and for my fellow Liberals that there's trouble there at the moment for the Liberal Party. A tragedy. It was a tragedy for the state and the Labor Party that Eddie O'Bee, Tony Kelly, uh, uh, Ian McDonald and all those people Joe Tripodi, Joe Tripodi and Eric Rosendale apparently supporting a campaign against their own candidate in Newcastle. So it's not just the Liberals. I, I work for the ICAC. I know what the ICAC is like. I've been council assisting the ICAC. And I would like to just finish my answer. I, I am amazed at the discourtesy shown here tonight to the speakers. 
and this previous speaker, right, was a very knowledgeable and decent man and he kept getting abused and interrupted. I think that's a disgrace. And I'm ashamed of you and I'm ashamed of some of the others. Oh, rudeness. Show some civility. And show some civility to the next speakers too. But don't just show cheering and saying that's fantastic because that will show you bias. Let's hear all sides of the argument and let's consider that the state doesn't run according to what our local people think. We do the best we can. I have constantly fought against those home units. We're here for the North strategy. Can we ask questions please? Yeah, all right, that's enough. And the Hornady housing strategy was being discussed for people on the civic front to support it. Most of us here are not against the North West Railway in itself. It's the way it's been built and the carriages and things like that. But what I would like to ask is, is this the beginning of the privatisation of the entire system? Because that's what I've been told, that people are now going to build these same trains right around the whole system and it'll all be privatised. Is that true or I, not? I, I don't know, honestly. I don't believe such a decision has been made. Yeah, but I... Frankly, firstly, the comments that you made about us being selfish and not wishing the people in the North West to have a rail link is totally disingenuous, and it's you know you, you know better than that. You know better than that. You know that all of us, I would say 99%, would support the Northwest Rail Link. We all believe to your transport minister and to your new premier that there is a large population in Sydney who, instead of congratulating the Liberal Party for taking this action now are totally opposed because of the way they see this being done. And it's a tragedy that you, the Liberal Party, have put yourself in that position. But some of the reasons that this decision has been made are the sort of decisions that ICAC are looking at at the moment. But the courts at Cheltenham Girls High are actually shut on weekends. How about that? They're shut on weekends. Enough tracks to store them. You don't just have you've got to have so many more trains to store, let alone run them. It just makes no sense, the whole thing. Is the detection of fraud in <laughs> transport <laughs> funding. You have $8.3 billion, is that correct? That's the total capital. Okay. Does this include cost escalation? Excuse me. Um, sorry to interrupt, Rod. I love the engineering display, but I think you've been sent to the Rod Red here. My name's Derek Luxett. I live in Beecroft. I commute from Beecroft Station to the city every day. I've done so since 1983. Just answer a question. <laughs> Cost escalation is included. Is that right? I said that it includes all the provision that we need in our Okay. I have never heard such a dissension into sheer trivia and nonsense. I'm not going to get into... I'm not going to be pressed on this. This is bloody fraud. You oh, understand? Yeah, yeah. Bloody fraud. Suit, because I go to the city each day and I have an unbroken trip that allows me to work. On what you're saying and what this government, which is behind it, has forced you to say, is that for an unknown number of years, that under an inconvenience, I'm going to have to change twice. This is already a slow trip. The train stops interminably at Epping and Chatswood. We now have, to satisfy the Minister, extra stops in her electorate at Waverley and Wollstone Craft, at which two dogs and a cat get in and out each day. <laughs> <laughs> that is the start. How about this one? Patronage. 30 million a year, is it? Is that right? It was indicated in the... It was indicated. ...the four to five years that we're expected to have patronage. About Did you take years? account of the road of traffic in the corridor? Being proposed is a myth. Of course people could get in and out of trains quicker if there's more doors. But there's twice the number of people in double-decker trains. 
which means you need twice the trains to get back to where you started, as everybody else has noticed, but apparently not the government. You never mentioned it. You're supposed to have done an integrated study, aren't you? This is fantasy. What we have in this city at the moment is not a bad rail system by world standards. In fact, quite good. Thank you very much. Patrick's forecasting we've done. It's based on Where did you a, a get the figures from? It's based on a, Where did you get the figures from? I will. I'll just give you right from your answer. This proposal offers nothing but untold delays, inconvenience, extra costs, and basically a reason to get in your car and go to the city, not stay in the train. Do something about it before yeah. we all go back to civil disobedience. Fact that I can't get any information about cash flows. I try, you put me off all the time. You're hiding a whole lot of people.